What's up guys, Sebastian here and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about identifying your customer journey. And what is your customer journey? Basically, your customer journey is the journey that your future customer will go through in order for them to go from a random stranger to a paying customer. Like what is that journey that they go through? Like they see an ad, they click on the ad, then what happens? Like where do they go? What do they think? throughout this process. Because if you manage to identify your customer journey, some people call it different names, so I'm just calling it customer journey. If you manage to understand your customer journey, then you will always know what to do next for your business, right? Because one of the biggest problems that I see with people online that they, that they face is that they don't know what to do next. So they say, okay, today I created this uh, email sequence, but tomorrow, like what do I do tomorrow? Or today I create this Facebook ads campaign but what do I do tomorrow? Like, should I just like go with the flow and see the numbers and maybe take a guess? So if you don't understand your customer journey, you will always be like, kind of like floating around, seeing what you're gonna do next. But when you really understand the, the journey that people go through to become a customer, you're always kind of like one step ahead of them, right? You're not, you're not behind. You're, you always know what's gonna be the next step. So let me just give you an example, right? Um, and I was actually writing an email to my list talking about this and that's why I wanted to talk about this topic. Uh, the, the reason I came up with this topic is because what most people wanna do is that they just wanna you know, create a Facebook ads campaign or a YouTube ads campaign or Instagram ads and they run, wanna run traffic directly to their product page, to their sales page, to the place where people pay, all right? It makes sense, you're sending people to your page and if they buy, you make money and hopefully you can recover your ad spend, makes, this, makes sense, right? But the thing is that most people are not ready to buy your products the first time they see you. So if there's a random stranger on Facebook and they see your ad and they click on your ad, there's gonna be very low chances that this person is gonna buy from you for, for a very simple reason. Uh, this person doesn't know who you are, they don't trust you, and they simply don't relate with you. They, they don't know who you are, they don't know about your company, if you're using a company name, they don't know anything about you, so they have no reason to buy from you. And let me just ask you a question. If you were scrolling down on Facebook and you saw an ad from someone, maybe a, it could be any product, it could be a digital product teaching you something, would you buy from this person if you didn't knew who they were, if you didn't relate with them, if you didn't trust them, they're just telling you about this course or this program they're gonna teach you, you're gonna click on that ad, take out your credit card and buy? I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I've never done that. Like if I buy from someone or from a company, I do my research first, I wanna know who they are, I wanna know um, if they have good quality products or services, I wanna see their reviews or testimonials, all this stuff, I wanna make an educated decision. I don't wanna just like go and take out my credit card and buy a product. And the reality is that if I, don't th if I think that way and you think that way and you're skeptical too, then most people in the world are also very skeptical, right? They have all the right in the world to be skeptical. So the thing is that if you really wanna crush it online for the long term, you gotta understand that most people don't buy the first time they see you. They might take two months, six months, they might take a week, or they might take three days, you don't know. Some people take longer, some people take a shorter amount of time, but you gotta really understand this. So if that doesn't, if that is not, not the best option to run traffic to a sales page and hope fully to, uh, you make sales, then what is? What I suggest you do is that you generate leads and build your email list, all right? And basically this is related to the uh, customer journey because let's just, let me just give you kind of like an example to make this clear, all right? Let's make an imaginary story where we have a character A is named John, all right? And character B is named Michael. So let's say that John has a restaurant, right? And he wants to get more leads for his restaurant. He wants to get clients walking in his door and sell more food. So he tries Facebook ads, right? So he goes to YouTube, watches a few videos, and he runs Facebook ads. He spends $1,500, but he doesn't make any sales. And he's struggling, right? He's spending money, but he knows that some people are crushing it with Facebook and going to restaurants, but he isn't, he's struggling. So he one day, one random day, he's crawling down his feed and he sees this ad from this guy called Michael, claiming that he's really good at Facebook ads and that he can help restaurant owners get more leads and clients with Facebook ads. And he's offering a PDF that says, 
the top 10 mistakes the restaurant owners are making when running Facebook ads. Now, John is like, holy crap, this is perfect for me and it's free, it's a free PDF. I wanna, I'm struggling with my restaurant, I wanna crush it. So, John, John goes, clicks on the ads, downloads the PDF for free by entering his email. And then on the next page, he gets access to the PDF. And once he reads the PDF, he's like, holy cow, this is super valuable. This has helped me know why I'm failing, the top 10 reasons I was making like freaking three out of those 10 and I'm getting a lot of value for free from Michael, right? So then John starts asking himself like, why is Michael giving all this away for free? Like he has good stuff. And within the next two to three months, he started receiving more emails from Michael. He starts receiving videos from Michael, helping him with Facebook ads for restaurants. And one day Michael makes an offer. Michael says, hey, I have this video training that's really gonna help you out to crush your restaurant. It has everything step-by-step, -step, screen sharing, uh, we get on a call, we can get on a call, blah, blah, blah. It's an irresistible deal full of bonuses. And John goes and says, sign me up. John takes out his credit card, he buys the product, and he becomes a customer. Now, John starts doing really well, makes a testimonial, and also, two months later, he attends Michael's live event, which costs $2,000 in Florida. So, in four months, Michael took a random stranger, John, who didn't knew him, trusted him, or anything, and had him invest uh, $2,200 with him, right? In a four month period of time. So it took him four months to, get, to make that money, but the cost per lead, what Michael paid fa to Facebook to get John as a lead was $1. Let's say the cost per lead is $1, or let's say $2, right? Which is a fair amount. That's a, a cost per lead for intermarketing. John, uh, Michael paid $2 to get John, and John paid $2,200. So that is the customer journey. What I just told you right now is a story that I made up that is a journey of a person, a random stranger, John, who goes from random guy, skeptical as hell, to paying customer from a $200 program to a $2,000 event. Now this is a, just an example of a customer journey for a guy that has a restaurant and wants to learn Facebook ads, but your customer journey could be for anything, right? Literally anything, like where is your ideal customer hanging out, what are they doing, what is going in their head, like for instance, John's, John was frustrated because he has a restaurant, he needs to get more people walking down the door. So that's what you got to do. That is how you create a customer, a customer journey and that's how you're always knowing what is going to be the next step, right? Because if you understand your customer journey, like for instance, if I understand that John needs some time to think about it, John needs something valuable for free in order for him to remove his skepticism a little bit and John needs an irresistible offer, I just start putting the pieces together. I say, all right, I need to give something away for free, super valuable, what do I create? How can I help John? And then John gets that, and what's next? I need to keep being in front of John because if not, he's gonna forget about me and another guy is gonna get his attention. So I need to send three emails per week and three videos per week. And then I need to make follow up with John and, and, and eventually I get this offer for a limited time and get him to buy. That is the customer uh, journey. That is the process that your future customer needs to go through. And that's why I'm a big fan of generating leads because when you generate a lead, guys, you can monetize that lead for years. And also people don't buy the first time they're gonna see you. You gotta really understand that because that way you're gonna start thinking more long-term, build a more solid foundation. You're gonna be able to make more money in the long-term. It's as simple as that. These days, most of my advertising budget goes to lead generation. Lead generation, that's it. And I might not recover that ad spend immediately, but I know I will. And I know it's gonna come with a much bigger ROI than if I was sending people directly to a page to buy and they didn't even knew him, knew me. Because I knew, I know that most people don't buy, right? And I've, I'm doing this for other niches as well, for the health niche, I've done this for a fitness niche, um, and I have three other niches, but they're like random niches. So that's basically the video, guys. Hope you found this helpful. Write it down, just get a book, literally, write the journey down, and then start saying, how can I insert myself in the equation through this journey? What are the steps I need to guide this person through? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and if you find it helpful, be sure to go to sebastiangomezmentoring.com, schedule a call if you need more help with your business, and that's basically it. I'll see you in the next video.